Mayhem and High Tops here. I have a Q&A going for you today. Um, I'm trying to overlay music onto this today too, so let me know how it works out if it's too loud or too quiet down in the comments. Um, favorite female YouTuber, Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna has been one of my favorite YouTubers for years now. I've been watching her since she was on Vine. And she's just one of my favorite YouTubers. I know she's fairly controversial nowadays because of a bunch of stuff that's recently come out. But it doesn't stop her from making good content. Favorite male YouTuber. David Dobrik. He's so creative and funny. And his videos are always fast paced. And you feel like they're 20 minutes long when they're only like 4 minutes. So, you know good YouTuber. Um, first YouTuber you subscribed to. Jenna Marbles is the first person I remember actually subscribing to um, on YouTube at 13. Um, before that, I can't remember anybody specifically that I was subscribed to because Jenna's been the longest person that I've been subscribed to. And her content has grown with me as a person, and just everything is good about it still, so. Uh, video you'd rewatch over and over and over. Uh, David Dobrik's 420th video. By the way, I'm going to leave links to all the YouTubers I talk about in all their videos so that you guys can easily just find them. Yeah, that should be good and helpful. Uh, favorite YouTuber musician, musician, uh, Scotty Sire. He's become an up and coming person and he's really good at it. So there's that. Uh, favorite video that made you cry, David Dobrik and Eliza Koshy's breakup video. It was so well done and it was just appropriate for their breakup. Like, I'm sad it happened, but it, it affected so many people. They were trending on Twitter. Um, <sighs> uh, favorite video that made you laugh? Uh, Sane Hijazi's 100th video. Uh, just, it's one of those videos that you have to watch to understand. And, yeah. Uh, YouTuber OTP. For those of you who don't know what OTP means, it's one true pairing. It's a shipping thing. It's a fandom thing. Uh, for me, it has to be Shane and Rylan or Jenna Marbles and her boyfriend Julian because they both of those pairs just work so well together. And you can't see my hands because they're too low. Um, I talk with my hands, so if you see finger movements down here, you, you know why. Don't mind my blue fingernails. I painted them. Favorite YouTube pet? Besides mine, I picked Kermit, Gemma Marvel's dog, because the dog is just so humanized in her videos to the point where he's like another character. Overall favorite channel, which is Carly and Aaron's channel. Um, they're two female YouTubers, and they're both excellent at what they do. They're hilarious and funny, and they're smart and witty, and all these amazing things. And I hope to see them grow as YouTubers over and over and over again. All favorite YouTuber music video, Boom by Zayn Hijazi. It's a good love song. And it's short and simple, and it's really easy to bop to. So there's that. Favorite YouTuber quote. YouTube is my therapy by Gabby Hanna. It is one of my favorite quotes by a YouTuber because it is so true. I use YouTube as a coping mechanism for when I am feeling down.
Where am I? Um, favorite YouTube challenge. Uh, my favorite YouTube challenge would have to be, um, the 100 layer challenge because nobody got hurt. It wasn't, it was dumb, but it wasn't stupid. It didn't affect people the way, like, the Thai Polish challenge did or the Cinnamon challenge did. It didn't hurt anyone. It just was something silly and fun that people got to do. YouTubers who should collab. Shane and Jenna. Because I love his mini document series. Shane's document series. And I feel like Jenna would be a good person to like do that with. And the final question on here is YouTubers you think should do this Q&A. And I think all YouTubers should do this Q&A because it promotes other challenge channels and it promotes, it can promote smaller YouTube channels. Like all the channels I mentioned are way bigger than me because I'm still a really small one. But if you find a small channel, you can promote them really well. So I think all YouTubers should do this challenge or Q&A or whatever you want to call it. Thank you very much for listening. This has been Mayhem and High Tops.